<laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Yo. What up, Quartet? How did you figure that out? You just saved the show. Uh, uh, because I have voice meter, and, like, Discord just, like, messes up, like, my voice meter all the time. So, like, I, I found the solution on YouTube, like, a long time ago, and it always worked for me. So. You're a beautiful so person. <laughs> you are. Thanks. I'm going to kiss you on your forehead. Okay, oh, thanks. <laughs> you can have one of Bacon's meatballs. <laughs> Bacon, you owe him a meatball. You do. Okay, here's a meatball. A meatball. You say, okay, here's a meatball. <laughs> oh, sweet, man. <laughs> I love the meatball. <laughs> I love right, the meatball. I just have the meatball. Get I just have the meatball. All right, we're not, we, we did that April Fool's. We're not, we're not revisiting our Psychic Pebbles. No more Psychic Pebbles and Zach. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to go and play a little. I'm gonna play a little intro. I got my notes okay. here. I might, you hear, you hear that? I got notes and everything. Oh, I got Andy, piece of paper. Andy notebook. So you guys are recording. I'm recording. We're good to go. Quartet, save the show. Uh, I'm not let recording. Let me swallow my food real quick and I'll start recording. Foo's not recording. He refuses to nah. be recorded because he doesn't nah. want the FBI catching onto his trail. They don't, he doesn't want to be yeah. found. He doesn't want to be. They'll found. find all those things. So when this audio is uploaded, it's just going to be mean bacon and then just long silences. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Art Talks, episode three. This is in association with the New Grounds podcast. We'll be talking about beginnings today. And before we start, I'd like to give a shout out to the Grand Super Patrons, the ultimate Grand Super Patrons for the New Grounds podcast Patreon, which is Tom Fulp, Spectra Lee, and Quartet G. Thank you so much. And today's episode's musical intro is by Teravex, and it's called Lucid. Shark and bacon. What's Who's up? That? Those are those are you. Those are both you. <laughs> oh, me. That's me. Hello, hello. We we have we have Foo Shark, uh, NG collaborator. Uh, he was part of the F FF Seven collab. Did some cool backgrounds. He's also been part of Monster Mashing Deluxe. If anyone's played that, and um, give yourself a little intro, Foo Shark. No. Okay. Well, there you have it, Foo Shark. <laughs> man, a few words. He speaks through his art. <laughs> Getting him on the show required a lot of money. I'm just saying. I had to, I had to grease some palms of some political figures to get Foo Shark here. Who are the political figures? I'm curious. Tom Fulp. That's it. He Tom said, Fulp doesn't know me. Yeah, he does. He knows you. I swear. He knows oh, everybody. You say you say Tom was a fake fan. You say he doesn't yeah. really know you. No, that I could never even. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I'm such a handsome and nice man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say that now. You say that now. Bacon. Yeah, but in his face, I'll punch Hello. him. Yeah. Bacon. This is Bacon. Uh, he's been a part of Newgrounds for a while now. Um, but now he's he's more recently, way more recently. He's uh, it's been, he's been four here. months, four been, four and a half months. But and he's How already on the podcast. Yeah. Give yourself a little intro, Bacon. Hello, mm -hmm. I'm Bacon. I draw cute girls sometimes, and sometimes funny little creatures. It's just funny little creatures like Sonic, like Sonic, like Sonic flossing. <laughs> Specifically, Sonic flossing. This has nothing to do with the chat right now. <laughs> it does. What do you mean? I thought we were coming on here to talk about Sonic. We're coming on here to talk about beginnings, artist beginnings. Foo Shark, you joined oh. New Grounds June two thousand and ten. I don't know if that makes you feel old, but you have four hundred twenty-seven art pieces. Everyone like, in my here God. makes me feel old. And why is that, Foo Shark? Because I am old. I'm like an old piece of shit. I'm dying. I'm a life support <laughs> right now. You can't hear the machines, but they're there. You have to donate to Foo Shark's life support to keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> please, just end it, please. Just... 
Foo Shark, you also joined Twitter March of 2012, and uh, I looked at some of your old art pieces in 2016, and you were actually you did a little bit of pixel art, but you were you were still like anatomy focused, and so that mm-hmm. that's pretty much remained the same. But to to know that you've been drawing for so long is it's kind of an important fact. Bacon, you joined Newgrounds December 2020. Fake fan, fake fan. Can I get a fake <laughs> fan in chat? I'm just I, I only knew about the art until like recently. <laughs> That's not Bacon. true. You knew all along. Bacon, <laughs> you, just being selfish. You're keeping it to yourself this whole time. <laughs> and then, yeah. Anyway, 31 <laughs> art pieces. Bacon joined Twitter October 2017. So obviously, we know where where his his heart lies. Um, Bacon's mm-hmm. early art that I could see was uh back in 2018. It was heavily anime influenced. Completely different style. It was like kind of almost like manga inspired at times and uh bacon you told me you didn't settle on an art style until recently either yeah so growth everybody growth so it's not too hard it's not too late to change let's start off with uh your <laughs> guys' ar- art platform experience like through newgrounds through if you ever joined deviantart through instagram what are your experiences with these different art art platforms Foo Shark, you can start, I guess. Uh, um, hmm, let me think. First, I know, I know. Insta- I've heard Instagram is really good for art. Uh, yeah. I mean, just because it's like image focused and it's not really about like people's text or anything. So yeah, it, it is good for looking at images, I guess. Um, I've definitely had some commission work through there, so it, it can be a pretty good tool. Um, I started. On Deviant Art, um, definitely not as Foo Shark. Um, hmm. How did I find Deviant Art? I was looking for Sonic fan art as a child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's definitely what it was. How long ago uh, was that? Uh, e- eons, like a I, I fucking I don't fuck if I know the dawn was, of time. Foo Shark like, looking for Sonic fan art, like early two thousands, late nineties, maybe. When did when did Deviant Art? come around I, it DeviantArt definitely doesn't look like it used to that's for sure no everyone hates um, the new uh new format that it's yeah that it's using i mean it's always look ugly as fuck to be honest but what is your experience with DeviantArt been like um whatever like i don't know like it, it felt like it was a little bit tougher to uh build a community or not build a community but like interact with people on there was a little weirder because it it was definitely like specifically focused on like groups of people creating like specific types of art where like other platforms like newgrounds for example like it never felt like to get in like in contact with anyone was something limited to like your interests it was just kind of like you were like everyone that i've ever met on newgrounds has always just been willing to like talk i don't know yeah, more welcoming, but, I suppose. Are you saying DeviantArt was kind of niche, like uh, click based? I, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, like you're you're catering to a certain audience in some ways. Sure, the, the, at least that's what you felt. Like we're not saying that's how how it always yeah, yeah, is, yeah. but that's that's how it felt for you. Yeah, I, w- I would say that's that's probably how it felt more so. But I mean, like to be honest, we're talking about like when I was in like middle school, early high school. Like I was pretty young the internet was still very young so yeah right but to me a different it's, space it, altogether mm. it still it still means something that like you navigated to new ground specifically for art but then there's there's twitter too what do we think yeah. about twitter uh i mean i don't have any problem i know people complain about fucking twitter all the time but like, i'll tell you this like it's a great platform to get work um there you go i'd, I'd say about like 80 percent of my work comes through twitter funny enough so, yeah, bacon. It's, it's how do you, how really do you feel about thing. how do you feel about Twitter, bacon? Um, Twitter is only good if you don't stick your feet into places where you don't really think that they should be. Don't talk to people on Twitter. Just post things <laughs> silently. <laughs> don't talk to people. <laughs> yeah. Have your DMs open for the people who want to ask you stuff, but don't talk to anybody. <laughs> what about what about DeviantArt? Have you tried DeviantArt, Bacon? I have tried DeviantArt, but it, it was sort of like lukewarm. I I, I never mm. really liked it too much. It's just kind of there. 
And then uh, what about Instagram? What about Pillow Fort? Isn't that a thing still? Isn't that? I have never used Pillow Fort, but I have used I have. Instagram. Yeah. The my main issue with Instagram is that it automatically crops everything you do. And that does suck. Yeah, it has to fit their aspect ratio. Otherwise, it just you can't see the yeah, full well, image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit is garbage for that reason alone. Well, actually, no. The other shit that sucks about Instagram is you can't upload from a PC. It has to be on your phone. Yeah, that's even. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> it's still like a good like platform again, like Twitter in terms of like getting your stuff seen, and you can pull jobs from there. You just have to so. focus more on Instagram if you're going to be on Instagram. You can't just make an art piece and then upload it to Instagram. You have to make it for that and then put it on there. For the most part, yeah. Yeah. And then what do we feel about Newgrounds when it comes to, to art? <laughs> no, we don't have to. We don't, this, <laughs> all right, we don't have to talk up Newgrounds. Like there can, um, there can be bad points to Newgrounds, especially with yeah. the art. Just let me know, like... Because obviously the views aren't, engagement isn't high unless you're like on the front page. And even then you're not getting Whoa. as many views as you might if it was on Twitter or elsewhere. Well, to I be think, honest, like, yeah. so actually go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I, I think that um, <laughs> Newgrounds is good for like maybe meeting new people and then showing off your stuff to some other people. I, I can't really say much because I'm pretty new around here, but it is pretty cool seeing some people favorite your stuff and check out your stuff, comment on this stuff. I, I think reviewing is like the more, uh, one of the bigger aspects that they'd like to push. And I think that's really good for learning how to get better. If you can find the people willing to review your stuff. Mm -hmm. So what the consensus feels like, if you're growing as an artist, you should probably, ch I mean, you should still try out all these art platforms and see how they feel for you. But it just depends on what you're looking for, I suppose. Yeah. So my thing with Newgrounds is that, like, if you're expecting it to be, like, a place to grow an audience for your work, I think that's going to be a little tough. I Like, I think most of the people that are on Newgrounds are artists, right? Like, this is a community of artists, wor like, just working and sharing their stuff. You can, like, meet a lot of people to collaborate with. Like Bacon said, you can have people who will critique your work and you'll improve. But it's not, like, a place where... It's it's not like Twitter where you, you you have a grander stage to, like, get attention in terms of, like, your work picking up any sort of, like... Traction or audience. Yeah exactly like and that's not a bad thing either like it's just newgrounds is niche for that and like like bacon said it's a good place to start developing your skills as an artist when you when when you get people that aren't just trash talking your shit because that's also like a, a norm on there nothing wrong with it of course but uh it it is a good place to to learn for sure yeah yeah be careful be careful on new grounds don't let don't let them hate mobs get to you <laughs> no you, you gotta have a little bit of thicker skin if you're gonna be on new grounds for sure i mean tw twitter's been that way too some people act course, outlandish yeah. on twitter they're like oh of would course. it look like this it looked like this or oh you made yeah. one mistake and they literally zoom in on it and they're like i thought better of your line art like they like but that's how dare internet. you color outside <laughs> the lines oh <laughs> So the That's way just the, the internet though, yeah. The, the way it seems yeah. is like Newgrounds is the tools, and then Twitter should be the platform. Like, because if you want to reach a broader audience, there you go. But then to get inspiration or like something that you want to make, you can use Newgrounds. Because like Food Shark, you made Monster Mashing Deluxe with Ninja Muffin. It's just like, it's like you find someone well, to link up, up with. I, <laughs> I didn't make that with him. I just I worked on one character to help them get it done. That was but it. it's still <laughs> it still influenced you to make a, a character to help add something. You know, you put something in the world. Or sure. Like, like look, what you're saying in terms of like I I think Twitter, Instagram, anything outside of that are the tools. Like Newgrounds is a good platform to like put your stuff, like to have it like cataloged on the internet. Uh, I think Twitter, Instagram, um, well, those are really the only two that I use, but like Twitter, Instagram, like YouTube, like streaming platforms, like all those are good tools to bring your audience to Newgrounds and to look at it, right? That's why like I always show like uh, Newgrounds on every, every time I post like an art piece on Twitter, I always show like the link to Newgrounds. Um, 
Yeah, you so can I, get like, the high the high res <laughs> version on Newgrounds. Yeah, essentially, I, I do that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah, it, it's not necessarily like Newgrounds is a good center point to have. Like, it's either like Newgrounds or your website. But like Twitter and all these places are just places you can advertise your work on. Of course, you can meet other people and like get critiques on there and all the same sort of bullshit. But like, I think it's better for getting your stuff seen, you know, to a larger audience. Yeah, I just I always felt like the collaborate collaborative aspect to Newgrounds was a little bit stronger. Like, talk oh, to yeah, people. of course, you know, yeah. like being able to meet someone that will actually mm-hmm. inspire you to create something. Pretty of much course, like yeah. like if someone were to hit up bacon like hey let's make a let's make a visual novel where it's a cactus girl and all i need are like five drawings of your oc and like mm-hmm. different and we can work with each other and like it'll just inspire someone to to want to mm-hmm. make something for something whereas on twitter i feel yeah. like it's kind of it's kind of like you put your stuff out there for reception not so much yeah, as collaboration sure. not like hey you mm-hmm. guys want to work on this because then at some point you yeah. just you're either so big that you get flooded with responses or you're so small that you don't know where to start with who because there's so so many different course, avenues yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Which is why yeah. I said, like, it's it's that artist community. Like, that's that... Like, Newgrounds isn't, like, like, a social media platform. It's an art community, period, you know? And, of course, there are people who go there that are just uh, fans of art that they just appreciate. They don't do any artwork, but it's more for people collaborating, like you said, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, so let's 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 go to before you guys ever created a persona. We're going to, we're going back to like like your little mm-hmm. your little days oh, baby time when like when like you're like ah oh, no internet. Bacon I'm just drawing on pencil papers. I saw <laughs> SpongeBob today, and I just want to draw him. Like let's go let's go to before. Like what <laughs> what influences you at that very early start of art? What 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 makes you want to draw when? You, when you don't even realize the the breadth of people you can reach or the kind of work that's out there or what you're going to have to learn. You're just early phases. What what were your influences like? Either either one of you can start. I don't <laughs> I, I think Fu should go first on these things. Oh, it's we, because we I'm started old. out with okay. I might uh, die soon. So. <laughs> no, you started just just last time. time. I just want to keep the I I, I, I want to keep the rhythm going. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah hmm so like what are we talking yeah I mean, early been, like like before mm, anything bro your first like i've the been first thing yeah i've been drawing since like i was a wee babe um my parents my parents were told by like a kindergarten teacher that i was drawing things that like normal kindergartens w- wouldn't like draw so like porn no um <laughs> <laughs> But like, dude, that kid uh, won't stop drawing dicks. Right? Like, oh, yeah, it's just like, like wow, like it's all over the classroom. <laughs> no, um, I would draw faces apparently on like stick figures and shit, and apparently, like that, like the teacher was convinced that like, oh, this is someone who should like pursue art, and my parents just kind of like supported me and like pushed me along to do it. So I just kind of like kept doing it, you know. Like you get attention and positive reinforcement, of course, you're gonna do the thing that gets you attention. So like um yeah like i i just pursued it because of that um i didn't realize actually to, that you could do art as a job until like i was in fucking high school like i had um a promoter from the college that i inevitably went to come in and just like oh you can make cartoons for nickelodeon and do all this stupid shit it was like wow. wait a second like like that's a real job like i i thought i was just gonna end up as an art teacher or something like i didn't realize you could do <laughs> video games and like cartoons for money like it just seemed too too fun of a job yeah. and i went to yeah i, I went I'm to not, college I'm for not, a bit yeah i'm not i'm not a fan of um of someone being mm-hmm. like, oh, you're an artist or you're an animator, you can work for Disney. Like that's the scope. Like this is. It's always like, yeah. It's <laughs> but always I mean, like Disney. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking. We're talking about like, like I don't. I don't know. Like things were so much more different again. Like uh, this was, I don't know what 2006, 2005 or something like that. Like, um. Yeah, before yeah. the whole Patreon or like indie. Yeah, indie community. That, that was basically. definitely. Uh, yeah, there was it was definitely like a different time. And essentially I went to college, I wasted my time there. Um, unfortunately. And it was animation, I, right? It was for animation. Yeah, I went for computer animation. So it was mostly like three D 
animation, but I ended up just like focusing on like concept art and illustration. Um, at the time, like probably my biggest influence was uh, Daniel Luvisi. He's a, uh, he, I, I think he mostly does like fil film concept artwork. I know he's done some stuff for games, but most of his work is hyper-realistic, like painting. Like it, it's all really good, but um, yeah, I chased that for a bit, got really depressed because like I wasn't happy with the work. And uh, that was around the time that I started listening to like Sleepy Cast and shit. Which is like I've always known about Newgrounds at the time, but like I never participated in it. Like I know you said like when I joined Newgrounds, but I that was probably like in college and I didn't do anything actively on the site. Like, man, I'm I'm thinking back and like I like I remember seeing the fucking Street Fighter collab come out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's how far yeah. back this was. Um but yeah, uh, like I got really depressed doing the hyper real stuff, and then like I realized like I just wanted to like do shit that like made me happy and like made other people happy. So I just kind of like shifted my art style like completely. Like if you look back on my Newgrounds, like some of my first posts, like that work that I started posting on Newgrounds was during that time that I was incredibly depressed, and like I switched it up just to like let me like let me just do shit that I think is funny. And uh, hell yeah. Yeah, so when I got on Newgrounds, it was basically, like, where I felt like art really started clicking for me, even though I've been doing it for, like, years. Like, that that's really when I got things going, funny enough. Not to suck Newgrounds dick, but it really was Newgrounds that, like, turned it around for me. We love Newgrounds here. That's that's fair enough, right? For the, <laughs> for the Newgrounds podcast. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. we like this place. We do we do things here. But it's it's weird to think that your early influences were just your parents' support. And then yeah. that 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 pushed you to be like, oh, okay, I'll just keep doing art. Yeah, and, uh, there was no anime. There was no like what like what kind of. I mean, sure, like, like you know, <laughs> um, you look like at Salvador do... Dali. Like, what was going on during that period? <laughs> oh, like, the, I the do... clock is melting. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, this is fascinating. I'm like a fucking five year old. Like, well, like, what were your this? earliest like drawings? Were they always characters? Um, was it always character yeah, art? Yeah, it, it was always yeah, it was always character art. Like it was always like cartoons that I was watching at the time, like Disney movies, um, Dragon Ball Z, probably most of it. A lot of Final Fantasy stuff. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, that, I like, I, like that. I think that's yeah, I think like that, that's most of it. Like any cartoon show that was out at the time is usually like what I was drawing. Like any Almost sort of like action related thing. Almost everyone starts with Dragon Ball Z. Like even Meat Canyon started with Dragon Ball Z. And then I know, I, I know, I know Eagle Raptor. Well, Bacon, you're st you're so young, you're so you're so young. Um, and then <laughs> Eagle Raptor started off with like drawing the Chrono Trigger like profile. Uh, there's like this oh, yeah. this like portrait mm -hmm. of the character, and he's like, I drew that so many times. It's like, mm -hmm. let's move on to someone who's maybe influenced by other things. Bacon, what did you start off drawing? I saw a lot of anime in, in your beginnings, but let's go let's go directly back to the beginning. When did you figure out you wanted to like draw art? Like, when were you good? Did the teacher walk mm -hmm. up and was like, oh, oh, this face? Like like with <laughs> yeah. like with Food Shark, they're like, You are the chosen child are you for fun art. Of me? I don't appreciate <laughs> no. this. It's, but I'm gonna die of, soon. Are you poking you fun of this shit. whole art ability? I'm out of here. I'm it does. Here. It sounds hilarious <laughs> that the teacher is like, "You are the one." I know. <laughs> I always thought. I always thought it was Charles hilarious too. <laughs> she threw me out the window with a pencil. Yeah. And She's like, "Get out of here! <laughs> Draw chalk on the playground." <laughs> Yeah, draw cool. chalk. Don't use yeah, it. Yeah, don't, don't draw with chalk. chalk. Just draw the chalk itself. <laughs> a in thousand your own times. Blood. Yeah. yeah. In your bacon. Own blood. Bacon. Explain your explain your experience with art in your early stages when you discovered that maybe you had some talent doing it. So I started drawing probably as early as I can think of. I mostly saw my dad doing like these landscape paintings because he kept like Oh. looking at bob ross and doing black and white landscape paintings and i was like oh that's kind of cool i'd like to make stuff and i just kind of drew a little stick figure cartoon people but instead of being like really bad stick figures they were kind of dynamic stick figures and everyone said that i was the best drawer in the class and they'd all look at me when they say oh it's a drawing time we're gonna have to do a drawing and they all look <laughs> back at the classroom you know that one image it's like that one image Oh my oh. god! You get ostracized the moment the moment you get at art. Everyone's like, "This guy's different." He's <laughs> different. To be, true, He's like, different. To be honest, like yeah, like I do remember that being like, "Oh, you're the art guy." 
Yeah, you're you're the else. you're the kid who can draw stuff. Draw? Can uh-huh. you draw me? Can you draw yeah. me? Yeah, I, I hate that question. Like, oh, you draw do art? Me. You want to draw me or my dog? Yeah. Like, no, I don't yeah. want to do either one. <laughs> draw me. <laughs> draw so, me. Draw me pooping in the toilet. So Bacon started off drawing his classmates pooping in the toilet, and then yeah. and then what 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 influenced you to want to draw them? Because was it just your dad then? Is it everyone's parents? Is that, what, is, that, is that what's happening? I mean, that's where most things come from. Yeah, I came from my parents. You're right. Most things yeah. come from your parents. Yeah. But um, I, I I got really influenced by the cartoons I was watching because I, I, I was a big cartoon watcher, and I still am. I still enjoy watching cartoons. Big whoop. What a fight about it. Um, yes. Yes. Fight. <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, no, seriously. I, I'd yeah, always I'll... try and redraw things. I, I'd like maybe pause something and i like oh i, I want to draw try and redraw this Same. frame or do yeah. something like that uh mm-hmm. and slowly over time i just kept doing it and i just slowly kind of got a little bit better over time it wasn't until then, like around high schoolish that i thought like hey maybe i should actually try and get better what uh so before that it was just redrawing frames then so your motivation purely was you like something so you wanted to draw it right yeah was, pretty much and people there, would go like hey that's a nice drawing and it'd make me feel happy because it's like yeah thank you for giving me compliment i am child num, 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 num. I'm child. <laughs> yeah this is a completely original work right here this is <laughs> this, i drew this purely on my own um yeah yeah, yeah. um how do you keep motivation so you're drawing all the time, so it's just the motivation from your peers for the most part is what it Pretty sounds much. like in school. Yeah. So if you're if you're a bad artist and you show your art to people and they're like, meh. <laughs> that, that, pretty, that's big demoralizer, you're, but you're it, pretty it, much screwed. <laughs> it, it it's hard, but you gotta fight through that sort of stuff if you are dealing with that. You you just gotta mm. ask, like, hey, could I get some constructive feedback? And that's that's some sort of people looking at your stuff. And that's hard. That's, that's hard to do in the early stages, though. I feel like you're not mature enough at one point to to want that kind of constructive criticism or even people, know how to ask for it. Yeah, a lot of people early on have it a little bit better when they start drawing early, because instead of having to deal with showing your stuff to other people, you just kind of draw your own thing and maybe show your other classmates who have really bad abilities. So they go like, "Oh yeah, that's great," and you get instant like little happy feedback. Would you would you guys say that in the beginning it was easy to keep that motivation? I mean, yeah, yeah. For I me. mean, yeah. It, when you're young, you can really just kind of draw whatever you want. You don't give a fuck when you're. Yeah, you're younger. you're young. You eat dirt. You draw little stick figures. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Like I never had the inclination to like impress anyone when I was doing. It. I just did it to do it. Like I knew people liked when I did it, but I didn't really care what they thought. Yeah. Wow. So you're saying there were like no expectations in the beginning? No. I mean, if there's no expectations, all. you can't hurt yourself by putting your expectations yeah. too high. And then you go online and you want attention and like I want followers and I have Give to be a number, bitch to I the see number. Yeah. Oh. And then like shit goes downhill. Like you start becoming fucking incredibly depressed trying to like keep up with like not just like getting other people's attention but like with other artists it's like oh he's got like a million followers how do i they're 10 and they're drawing picasso <laughs> what i saw this yeah. uh i saw this like uh like british news show that was covering this girl that drew like these religious paintings like purely like you're talking like a canvas the size of a wall and it's like super realism like kind of those paintings you look back on like during the renaissance area era, era. Mm-hmm. and she's like 10 years old and she's like i don't know one day i just picked up the brush and i started making these and she had like they sold they mm-hmm. sell for like two million and shit <laughs> i vaguely remember that actually yeah. uh, like... yes someone who puts no effort in and instantly gets mm-hmm. paid mm-hmm. <laughs> those, like, yeah. those hurt but you just gotta have to learn that there are gonna be people who are always better than you no matter what so you just gotta deal with it so you just gotta, sometimes you gotta, there will be people Sorry, go ahead. You just gotta kill everyone that's younger than you. Like if you see a child or anyone younger, <laughs> you shoot them before yeah. they get better. <laughs> yeah. But if you here's the thing though, you don't want them super dead. You want them to come back and still motivate you. Like you need yeah. that. Maybe just like break their any, hand or something and they can't draw anymore. Yeah. For a little while, you know? Just keep yeah. tabs on them. 
All right. Let's talk about um, let's let's talk about let's talk about your ideal ideal future in art. So you guys literally said there was no expectations. When did the expectations for doing actually something in art come about? Is that during like high school, I suppose? Around high school for me. For me it was college. In college. Because... So what what direction did you want to grow during that time? Like what did you want to do? And for you, Fushar was probably animation, right? Work for well, Nickelodeon? No, like no, honestly, like like during the college sprint, like I, I told that story during the office work hours about like how a Blizzard art director told me I'd never fucking work for Blizzard or any of that shit. I don't know if you recall, but like, yeah, um, like dur- during that like small animation convention that I went to, um, I like I realized that I wasn't really ready to get in the industry. And part of it was certainly like a lack of confidence in my work. But like, I also knew that I wasn't skilled enough to enter um when i left school like it was just like the awakening notion like shit like i'm not ready to work in the industry and i have bills to pay (laughs) so (laughs) there was no thought other than like i need to get work doing art and that that was about it like i was working at best buy at the time but like i was still doing like a lot of like freelance projects for like game studios and like um doing like editing work for like films um like through a studio that one of my professors had down here um so what did but, you want to grow mm, into then like you said you're looking um, for work what was work to you what like what would have like, gotten you work um it like it, essentially concept art work for the most part concept art work and like graphic design i did do some animation work when it came by but like the jobs paid so little it honestly wasn't even worth it wow um like it, it was terrible like that was actually when i learned like you know you have to like set a value for your work um because other people will definitely do it for you if you don't and a lot of artists that I, like a lot of younger artists when i see them starting up like their commissions and shit they underprice their shit like big time um and i understand that like they're not in a place where um Finances are as important to them. They might still be living at home with their parents or they might not have any like financial responsibilities. So like 50 bucks, you know, 20 bucks like means the world to them like at that age. But like, yeah, it becomes harder as you grow older. And then like when you start building an audience that's just used to paying you like 50, 60 bucks or something, you unfortunately will have to deal with that later down the line where it's like, oh, shit, I have like twelve hundred dollars to pay in rent. And I can't make the fucking money because people don't want to pay me more than um, what I've been asking, you know, but you need more of that. Anyways, that's a little off tangent. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you study concept art for the most part, and that just yeah. required what? Like anatomy, dynamic poses, just knowing how um, to like draw a character. So that's sure, like the, for the, that's most the growth just, you wanted, yeah. basically. Um, I like I didn't like I like I said, like the the focus was like I need to pay rent. There was no like long term dream of like Oh, I'm going to become the great art. Like, I, I was, I like, for me, it's always been about, like, just being where I am at the time and, like, focusing on that and not really thinking about the future, which can be good, but ultimately not great. Like, because it let me get into that position where I became, like, really depressed, like I said, because of the work that I was doing. Hot damn. Bacon. Yeah. Bacon. Yo. Bacon. So, what direction? Yeah, bacon dot com. Bacon. 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 Oh. Uh, so, what kind of what, when? <laughs> when did you decide what direction you you wanted to grow in in the in the early days? Like, at what point did you decide? Hey, this is a direction I want to take for art. So, which which growth path did you choose? Was it just character art? Was it was it anime? Like, what's what's going on there? I think around high school, I just kind of went with i would like to be an illustrator but i don't know what direction i wanted to go into a little bit later i think i shifted towards storyboarding for animation but then i realized that maybe animation isn't my thing and maybe it's like more of a hobby and not really something i should focus my Mm. career on so i kind of switched off to maybe it's like hey i kind of like doing concept art and i can come up with some little funny ideas so now i'm thinking of doing illustration and concept art something like that So that's your that's your current plan. When did you when did you choose that first plan of like maybe storyboard storyboarding? Was that in high school? 
around my first like, two years of high school, then I maybe shifted to that in maybe a junior or senior year. So for Fu, it was in college. So it, it feels like the mm-hmm. moment you're about to become like an adult, you, you give yourself like two years before that big moment and you're like, maybe I should come up with a way to to make money doing this or something I can do mm-hmm. that'll be useful to others that becomes like an asset. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'd say nowadays it's becoming like much faster like you you said you started figuring that out like during high school like i feel like that's becoming more and more noticeable because i'll tell you this like your skill level like at your age right now is insane because my work at that age was garbage um, yeah pe- people seem to be getting better quicker i'm seeing a lot of younger people who are really really yeah. good there's a yeah. lot of resources out there a lot yeah, of resources, yeah, resources that really help yeah absolutely so what let's let's go over early day resources Mm-hmm. Um, what resources do you use, Bacon, that that helped you out? Uh, you, I mostly you, like. Is it books? My, um, is it artists? I just like looking at the other artists that I enjoy. I look look. I like mm-hmm. looking at their art and figuring things out for myself. The tutorial mm-hmm. sort of thing don't really help me out too much because I'm more hands on. So I'd much rather mm. just look at an image, see what I like from that, and take that away from the image that I see. Yeah. So th- there you go. So that's that's and there's so much there's so much art out there for you. What about Studying you? Studying for Shark? the masters is so good. You, you try it out sometime. <laughs> yeah. Um. In terms of resources, I mean, fuck. I don't know. Maybe that's part part of the reason. Like my art it, was where it was at that age. Now that I think on it, because like art back in the day, like illustration has certainly improved as a whole. Like a lot of the people that were swanky as hell back in the day are not swanky anymore at all. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like they were. Would... Sorry, was that too old, man? No, 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 <laughs> no. I, j- I was going to ask that later. Like, uh, how have the artists that you filed in the beginning, like how have they grown? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they haven't, which is the funny part. Like a lot of them just kind of like stagnated where they were. And then like, that's where they left off. Like, um, it, it, it's really interesting to see because these were people that I like looked up to and was just like, wow, like these are fucking amazing. Like I want to be as good as them. And unfortunately, like, I don't feel like they've progressed any since the last time, like I looked at them. Like they're still around, which is nice for the most part. But um, in terms of like resources for me, like I did a lot of figure drawing stuff in like college, and like even on my own, like I would just go to like art community like drawing sessions here. Um, And yeah, the same thing. Like if there's an artist that I enjoy, like I'll look at their stuff and like I'll steal as much as I can from them and kind of make it my own. It's just. The normal way of going about things there's nothing wrong with doing that of course as long as you're not like blatantly yeah rip, ripping off their art and like this yeah. is mine and you trace the fuck out of it yeah yeah, yeah. There's, Remember, there's definitely kids, a difference. tracing is okay as long as you do it for learning purposes and don't try to pass it yeah. off as your own like a scumbag like mm-hmm. a scumbag um yeah. this is a, there's a really good book called stealing like an artist i recommend it to anyone who, who oh, wants to learn from the people that they they look at? It gives you a I've way of like. I've heard of that book, but I've never read it. It's a sh- it's a short read too. Mm, so nice. It's it's it gives you the tools to be able to create kind of your own self image from the people you look up to. Do you work? I have a question for you. Do you work for Barnes and Nobles or some shit? You're Me no. I, I like to I like to read. What's wrong with He's reading? Sponsored by <laughs> Audible. <laughs> <laughs> hello i like to uh, also completely unrelated no i like to I like to push this audio book it's called it's called art for beginners okay 101 it's by this great company this great company okay and if you go there mm. now and you type in uh mm-hmm, art mm-hmm. beginners 101 slash zin Zinix and and you'll get a five percent <laughs> discount okay five percent <laughs> come on that's a lot of percent <laughs> listen yeah. we're in the struggle right now um <laughs> All right, all right. We're at the halfway mark. I'm gonna um I'm gonna give a little shout out to our grand super patron tier. We're gonna do Commander Ken and Sayori. Thank you guys for being grand super patrons. And I'd also like to get into this thing that I call a quiz show. So Okay. We'll go over some like new grounds lore real quick. And oh, uh, boy. I'll give oh, you four boy. options for for the answers. You gotta pick the right one. 
Okay. Time so to lose. We all know. We all know. <laughs> we all know Speedo, right? We all know Speedo. Yeah, Speedo. Yeah. Is great, great artist, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Speedo's first drawing on Newgrounds in 2012. What is it? It's either A, Eagle Raptor fan art, B, something Newgrounds related, C, something anime related, or D, a hairy old man in a Robin costume from like Batman and Robin. I mm. think D sounds the most plausible here. <laughs> a hairy old man in a um, Robin costume. <laughs> yeah, I, I, honestly, it sounds I like something Speedo would do. Yeah, it definitely sounds like something he would do. But I feel like first drawing, I feel like it's a toss up between like Ego Raptor and anime. To be, honest. I'm gonna go with anime. You're gonna go with anime, so you're gonna go with yeah. C. Bacon, you're going with the old hairy man in a Robin costume. You're going with yeah. D. All right, all right. Turns out, turns out, Bacon is correct. Yeah. Also, quiz show, quiz show, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, question number two, question number two. Mm-hmm. Johnny Utah's first art piece in 2009. Good Lord. Was it A, Tank Man related, B, a political drawing, C, a video game related piece, or D, Newgrounds collab piece? Like if they were doing a Newgrounds collab, he did like some art for it. So yeah, Take Man Political Video Game or Newgrounds collab. I'm gonna commit to my answers being always C. So C. <laughs> this is how I, he, he made it through college. It, it he works. just guessed yeah. C on everything. It's the Simpsons yeah. thing. You're gonna mm-hmm. say video game related for Foo Shark. I'm, I'm gonna go B here because I don't think he made Tank Man until like a little bit later into his. Uh, it's so, either C or D. Like, if I'd be surprised if it's a political drawing. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. So I like the little facts that go along with these. Speedo's first drawing was for a Flash animation they were working on. This one is actually a Take Man related. I'm sorry, guys. Bow, 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 bow. Wow. Neither one of you got it. Take Man related. I got whammied. And, and it was specifically for the P PlayStation skin that they, they were making for Newgrounds. So he made like a little a big I was technically man. right. It was a so, video game related thing. Peace. Wait, holy right. shit. That's right. He's, wait. Oh, Fushar yeah. gets half a point. Oh, now, shit. Now you see, I'm that's still right. in the running. I'm still here. <laughs> well done. Woo! Well done. All right. Happy Harry. We all know Harry Partridge, right? We know yeah. Dr. Yeah. Beast 2 is out. Face. Shout out to that. Mm-hmm. He's got a funny face. 2009, his first, <laughs> his first art piece. All right, and these are oh, all boy. actually art pieces that he's done, but one of these yeah. was his first. So it's either A, Tom Fulp's birthday cake with a guy in the cake who comes out of it and he's got nipple tassels on. Right, mm-hmm. so that imagery. So B, Jimmy Tickles Magic Pickles. All right, that's B. <laughs> mm-hmm. C, a girl sitting on a tank barrel looking cute. D, R- roast. D. Rose Chew by Chris Chandler fan, fan art. Oh my god. I feel I like it's either D, D or B. For the joke. <laughs> I feel like it's either D or B, but I said I'd commit, so C. And what do you think, Bacon? I'm, I'm going D because it's purely funny. Purely funny. Food Shark is correct. It's a tank. Hell girl sitting yeah. on a tank barrel. Look at cute. Woo! Yeah. I did All it. Right. So, so those were the three questions for the quiz game. Now I got one for you guys. That mm-hmm. without cheating, Foo Shark, what is your first art piece on Newgrounds? Mm, what is your first? first you, yeah, first submit one. All right, you you could have deleted all the um, old ones, but it's the one no, that's no. first right now. Yeah, the one that's first right now. It. I'm pretty sure it's the one of fucking Slippy from Star Fox blowing the shit out of some monkey. Yes! Well, it's not a monkey. Yeah. He's, shoot- he's shooting another fox. I forget which one it is. It's like one of the evil no, ones. No, it is shoots- a monkey. Is it? It is a monkey. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm he's wrong. Like a, sorry. He's, he's an ape. He has a banana in that drawing. Wow, How did you not know? I'm sorry. I am. I <laughs> How am dare sorry. you? I'm sorry. How I'm dare sorry. you? He's got no, a hole fine. in the size of his chest that... Yeah. It looks like Texas. It's fucking yeah, awesome. I always, I always thought Slippy was cool as fuck, and like, they never fu- Like, I feel like they could have made Slippy cool, and they just never did it. They just never did it. Bacon. Yeah. I know this Yo. is a long time ago, a very Whoa. long time ago. What is your first art piece on Newgrounds? My very first art piece is Ryuko and Mako walking and talking. That is the nice. image. That's yeah. a good piece. Kill I kill boys. Like you, boys. All right, quiz show's over. Thank you to everyone who participated. Uh, Foo Shark, I think, I think, did you win? Hold on, you got a half a point. 
Wait. You got half point and one point. Half point, one point, and then wait, Bacon got one point, right? So I guess so. I got two points. One for guessing the first one, and one for guessing my own. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> well, got, got so I get one half. point. I like how Fushark wins by technicality. He gets an asterisk next, next to I his I told win. you. Well you done. have to fucking commit. Well son. done, boys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Someone's right. going to get shot. It's an so here we go. Man. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. What do we got here? Um. Now, how do you compare yourselves now to like when you first started? Have your have your art friends changed? I feel like that's a that's a big question that I I don't think is answered too often. Is where you start off with your art friends and then do they change over time? Do you feel? Yeah. I mean, uh... and yeah, any one of your friends. Like, I don't know. Like, the older I get, the more I realize that like one year is like a lifetime honestly <laughs> like dude, like <laughs> i'm completely fucking different than i was a year ago or like two years ago like i can't like funny enough thankfully like the friends that i made like while i was in college like the the real like close friends i still like hang out with them and still they're still there but i've certainly like met a lot of people and like switched different clicks throughout the throughout like all the years that i've been on the internet so like yeah like People certainly rotate their friends all the time. That's wild. Bacon, have you had that experience yet? Um, well, my first two years of high school, I had some friends that were kind of arty, but not too much. But then it, after sophomore year, I moved to Arizona f to finish off junior and senior year. Um, and then I met new friends over there, and some I still keep in touch with, some I don't really, but... It's pretty much the same thing with normal friends, with artist friends. You just kind of, sometimes you grow apart, sometimes you just stick together. It's kind of just how things be. Did mm -hmm. you, uh, did you guys reach out to anyone, like, in the beginning? Did you, did you see no. another artist and reach out to them? No. Never? Really, <laughs> just too, no. too shy? You're like, uh. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? That's not completely true. That one artist that I mentioned, uh, Danny Lovisi, uh, I... This was back when, like, people were still using fucking MySpace and, like, Facebook and shit. <laughs> like, um, he had... The, actually, it was through DeviantArt as well. Like, he had mentioned on DeviantArt that, like, oh, he was gonna, like, add people on, like, Facebook and stuff. Like, as friends. And I was like, oh, I have to get in on this. <laughs> it's like, I really wanna, like, learn from this guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, that that was probably the only time I ever, like, reached out to, like, uh, like a bigger artist that I had a lot of uh, appreciation for oh damn yeah okay well that's fair enough um obviously your guys' styles have changed since the beginning mm -hmm. yeah how, do, how how does that feel how does it feel when your style changes as much as it did it it depends what do you, um, do you go on <laughs> go on <laughs> i was waiting for someone to interject because people usually do um it depends sometimes you feel mm -hmm. like an entire weight has been lifted off your shoulders and you feel like you could do so much more. And sometimes you mm -hmm. just feel like, man, this was a bad idea. Why can't I go back? I hate, I hate this. I hate this. Please, please, please. Can I go back? No, I don't want to go back. Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Um, I, I like, I, I know if, Definitely had moments where, like, I've obsessed over style. I think probably, like, my largest shift was when I joined Newgrounds. Like I said, like, I went from... There's actually, like, one or two drawings on my Newgrounds um, from back in the day that I posted, like, after that slippy drawing where it was, like... I think I had, like, a Darth Maul portrait that I did. And it's just, like, a hyper-real, like, portrait of Darth Maul, essentially. Um... But I, I'd say that, like, that was the biggest shift. Ever since then, though, I haven't really concerned myself too much with, like, wondering what my style is. Honestly, like, I don't even know if I have a style. Plenty of people can obviously recognize it, but me myself, like, I can't ever... Like, I don't know what really makes it stand out. People say it's colors, but I don't know. Oh. So you just, you feel comfortable with your, your style? You're not too worried about the change? No, not not really. Bacon... Do you think you're going to stick with your style 
or that obviously you'll grow like you know what i mean in the years to come but right now you feel comfortable um, with it i feel pretty comfortable with it i find it like a fun little style to doodle with and make finished pieces with mm-hmm. and then what 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 clicked in your brain that was like okay i'm cool with this style it's just fun right it just makes you it, it just yeah, felt it makes right you happy just yeah feels right. it go. feels comfy Real yeah cozy I have uh, I have some personal questions. Um, have you ever given up on art? Is that ever something that crossed your mind at any point? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Bacon's too young for this question. I, I'm, I'm too young. I'm I'm, I'm only eighteen. <laughs> well, something could have um, happened to Bacon. Someone could have been like, ah, like he no, shows it to his crush, Bacon's and they're perfect. like, ugh, Bacon. <laughs> okay. He's like he's like the new guns child that we protect now. Like, we're like, <laughs> like we must protect bacon. <laughs> mm-hmm. God damn it! Yeah, have you? Was that when you're you're going through your bag problems, Phil, or was that like no, no, that? no, no, much earlier? It was like, like was I that said, when it you were depressed? Joined, yeah, it was before I joined New Grounds. Um, so basically, I had been like focused on creating artwork. Like I said, like more hyper real trying to get like the attention of like what the industry standards are right like y- you can look into video game art and like concept art and illustration and you can see like you know from 2011 and even until now like where that medium has gone um and th- that was what i was focused on like oh like trying to like get a job in the industry i suppose um but the more I did it, like, the more I realized, like, I wasn't really enjoying it. Like, I was doing stuff because people, like, oh, yeah, this is the stuff people look at. Um, which isn't a bad thing. You should consider your audience and, like, who your work is being made for. Um, but I wasn't thinking about myself during the process. Like, I used to enjoy art, and it got to a point where, like, I just, it was work. And, I like, I wasn't enjoying anything of the process like i wasn't drawing just to draw for myself anymore like just to doodle shit um so i got really like i was really really depressed like working on a piece and um i i just realized this is just my brain like letting me know that like i'm not happy with something i'm worried about failing like i need to like step away and like relax because I, I just honestly i was like at the end of my rope sort of deal i was like i don't know if i want to keep doing this um and how, so did, how I, did you get over that how did you well it's always funny to bring it up but like so i, I took a step a uh, step away and i like i could I, I just wanted to play like a video game so i wanted to play super mario sunshine which is like one of my favorite like it is probably my favorite mario game um, I just have really good memories of like when that game came out. Um, I got it for my ber- my birthday at the time. It was high school, um, so I just wanted to play that. But unfortunately, like our GameCube was out of commission, um, so I actually started watching the Game Grumps playthrough of uh, <laughs> Mario Sunshine, and I was just like watching them and enjoying them like play the game, and like it genuinely made me happy like watching them play this game, and like it, it put me in a better mood, and like. It was just like, yeah, man, like I like I really want to like play Mario. So I started playing the the cat one. I don't remember what's it called. It's 3D, 3D World. World. 3D World, yeah. And I loved it. Like I genuinely was enjoying the experience and like it made me realize that like that's what I wanted to do for other people. Like I wanted to make people happy with my work. And that's not something that I was doing because like even I wasn't enjoying it. Like I was just making I wouldn't say lifeless pieces because I did put a lot of effort into them. Like I liked putting a lot of these details, like like lore details, into these hyper real illustrations that I would do. Like I'm really detail oriented, but like it just it wasn't making me happy. So like I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want and like not concern myself with that. I'll just not worry about like things looking super realistic or like concept art or video game industry level. I'm just going to focus on like whatever the fuck I want. And then I like, I drew that slippy drawing (laughs) and after that, it just kind of clicked like, but, uh, (laughs) it's always funny having to say like, yeah, game grumps essentially saved my art career. (laughs) Game grumps and sleepy cabin (laughs) and sleepy cabin. Yeah. 
Shout yeah. out to having platforms where you can find yourself having fun with, or like just art being fun. Just knowing that art or like something that you enjoy mm-hmm. can be can be really fun to enjoy. Yeah, and then, and then put that in your art too. So make it fun for mm-hmm. you for the most part. Make yeah. it fun. Do do something fun. Try something make out. Fun. Mm-hmm. Draw, draw something wacky, man. Draw draw mm-hmm. lots of dicks and tits. Wait, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, make money <laughs> off it. Yeah, hey. don't talk tits. Tits are gross. Draw some wings. Tits are, tits are gross. <laughs> Big baney cocks. That's um, the way to go. Yeah. I have a, I I have a pertinent question. I have a really pertinent question. Um, If you what could does, go back... Okay, and, wait, I have a question for you. What, what does pertinent mean? What does pertinent uh, mean? It means like pending like something that's important. Oh, cool. Um, Thank you for the new word. I'm a, I have a dictionary next to me. He's got a word a day calendar. I'll go get it. I do. Zinix the book boy. No, the book boy, that's me. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> I, I, I sell books for a living. Hey, look at me. I'm, I'm Zen. Hey, hey, you want to learn about art, kid? I got books for sale. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Pertinent, okay. pertinent. Um, yeah. if you could, if you go go back in the past, would you change anything about what your approach to art was? Like in the, your beginning phases, mm. is there anything that you would have wanted to learn differently, or do differently? Yeah. Like what specifically? That's my no, yeah? that's my All right. answer. Yeah. Just, All right. just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually, I the the one thing that I wish I would have heard earlier on was actually something uh, Oni said on Sleepy Cast, which was, um, if you're not challenging yourself, you're not improving. Because back in the day, like when I was younger, like I was just content with doing the thing that I was most comfortable with and just doing that over and over and over and over and over again. And like, it never progressed. Um, and until like, I heard that, um, like it, it hadn't clicked for me. So like ever since that, like I always try, like, even if it's like commission work or stuff for myself, like I always try to do something to challenge myself, whether it's like, Oh, I'm going to draw like, this from a specific angle this time or i'm going to draw something i've never drawn before like like i i try to look for those things and like i i i know i would have appreciated having that uh lesson a lot earlier than i did i'd say that that probably the most important one you're gorgeous what you bacon? <laughs> what about you bacon what do you feel like you should should have like learned differently in the beginning if you could challenge yourself I probably would have told myself to just kind of focus on something that I liked more instead of just going for the generic look, but you know, I I, I think it's fine. I shouldn't, I don't really, at least for now, I haven't felt the ramifications of how I started just yet, so. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Look, Boo's doing all right. Look at him. I'm dying. (laughs) Don't listen to him. He's broken at the seam. He's doing fine. I am. Don't you guys I'm know you're supposed to time. die for your art? Like literally, yeah. Did you know that? That's no, a that's fair such point. A, no, that's a that's super toxic. That's how you get more money. Of, no, that's so toxic. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was talking to my coworker. He's like, "How many artists do you think you talk to that do drugs?" I'm like, "Probably not that many." But he's like, and then he was like, "No, he's like, they're probably all doing drugs." I'm like, dude, that's just <laughs> that's just the era he grew up in. He's like forty something years old. I'm like, people, artists used to be like really fucked up. Nowadays Dude, you don't I'm need st- to be. I'm high right now. No, I'm high. Right now. <laughs> I'm high right now, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking trash. Slam. Yeah. I don't know the word. No, you got. Yeah, you've been taking Vicodin because you're on life support. You actually. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you actually, <laughs> he's in trouble. Food shark's in trouble. Drugs. Donate to him. Every dollar keeps his life support on for another second. Throw so a penny at him. Make him catch it. <laughs> With my teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. So, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Let's find a. Let's find a good question. Let's let's find a. Let's find a good mm-hmm. question. Um, Ask your questions question. right now. Oh, yeah. actually, I still have stuff. Um. What oh, have you learned? Never mind. A, what, have, what have you learned about <laughs> art equipment? Like, art like what equipment. kind of? Yeah. So, like, uh, the tools you use to do art with, like the tablets, the mm-hmm. uh, pens, paper, traditional. Like, what? What have you learned about? You don't need this? a Cintiq. You don't, you don't, you don't need, need a Cintiq. Cintiq. You don't need a graphics tablet. Just get used to the hand-eye coordination. Please do not buy yes. Wacom. I mean, you could buy Wacom. I fucking use it, but I mean... <laughs> I, I don't like saying, Wacom. Like, 
Oh, why didn't you like Wacom? Yeah, I, bacon. I feel like they're yeah. the apple of bacon. drawing tablets. They they overprice Fair. their stuff, and you're paying more for mm-hmm. the name brand, and their drivers sure. are garbage. Yeah, but you get two say, billion pen pressures. Come on, come on. I, I I will say this though about Wacom. Every single one of the fucking products that I've had for them have lasted m- like ten years plus. I will say that. So. I don't like I I agree fucking Wacom's drivers are a piece of shit and like you constantly have to fucking uh restart your computer uninstall them reinstall them download new ones it, it is fucking garbage they have their problems but I'm just not going to ultimately shit on Wacom just cuz like they still make decent products but I haven't actually tried any like what graphics tablets do you use actually I use or, like Hirion. what type of do you use Okay so they're good I yeah, actually haven't tried them. I like Hero. Yeah, good. So and far, cheaper. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen any problems with my current nice. wick, my Hurion. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, In the beginning, well, what did you guys start off with? Uh, Wacom Intuos Pro. Uh, All right. Like the small one. Yeah. Is it a display tablet? No, it's not. No. Okay. I I I didn't get a Cintiq until like a few months ago. <laughs> And I've been doing art for like, like ten years now. Holy so like, balls, Jesus yeah. Christ! You don't, you don't like, it, like I can understand like for someone who's just starting out, like using it, like it can be helpful because you don't have to like deal with the hand-eye coordination thing that Bacon had brought up. So, but like aside from that, like there's not really a huge difference. I think it's more important to make sure that you have a large tablet that you can have at an angle when you draw so you're not destroying your body further than like hunching over like on a have a like a fucking gremlin like a gremlin yeah like a caveman a caveman bacon what'd you start off with with (laughs) i i started laughing when i heard this question because i started with some old chinese um drawing tablet Mm -hmm. called the ug m1000l uh, nice. It lasted me like a year or two, and it started giving me issues, and then I broke it in half. With your face? <laughs> no, it it just it kept giving me issues. The pen pretty much broke, and then I just was tired of it, and I threw it, and I broke, and I made sure it broke in half so I could laugh at it. Nice. Yeah. And then you bought what? What's I, how does that upgrade feel? The Huion H640P is very good. I, I've been using it for the past few years, and I've gotten no issues at all. And that's today's to sponsor. The... <laughs> you have to charge the um the pen. Is no, like there's no the battery batteries. Or... There's no nothing. Okay, it's nice. just you just use it. Yeah. You know how much it was? It's well, when I got it, it was like fifty bucks, but now it's forty dollars. It's thirty nine ninety nine. That's really accessible. Yeah, that's great. holy shit. Yeah. 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 Hey, everybody. Yeah. Hey, that's, go, go buy it. That's, yeah, buy it. that's the it. one that's a one drawing tablet I've told everyone to get when they're looking for a good drawing tablet because it's just really solid. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it's perfect. If it's you use good. the code uh, BACON, you get 10% how, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how big is it, though? Because I am going to argue that point right now. Um, I think it's... I think when I read... It, hold on, let me look it up real quick so I don't say the yeah. wrong measurements. Sure. There's there's a, like an important reason I'm gonna go back to office hours to complain about something. <laughs> yeah. <Woo. laughs> office hours. Uh, it's gonna happen another two months, maybe. maybe we'll do something like that. Six point three by three point nine inches. Yeah. No. Fuck. Way too small. Don't do it. <laughs> it's a it's a good thing to start off with. Yeah. Like if you want to get your feet wet. But here's the problem, especially if you're thinking about doing art. For long periods of time, that will destroy your wrist. You can't like um, one of the lessons that they talk about in like art school and shit like that is like, oh, you gotta draw with your arm, and like most of the time, teachers will tell you like, oh, it's a technique that you do it mostly because like that's how you draw. But the real reason you should draw with your arm instead of your wrist is that eventually you're gonna destroy your wrist and develop things like carpal tunnel and arthritis like I did. I was out of commission for two weeks um, in August this year, uh, last year when I was trying to get a comic done for a, a manga competition because like my wrist just decided, hey, bye. Like, no, you're not drawing anymore. <laughs> or you can just deal with severe fucking pain. Um, I know 
tablets are expensive, but like the forty dollar price tag for like something small like that, it's not worth it. And you shouldn't be drawing with it like you write. Like writing and drawing are two different types of way for using your hands. So it's fine if you like that's all you got when you start, but like definitely work up to getting like a larger tablet and work on it at an angle, not like flat on the desk because it will fuck you up eventually. Um, if you draw a shit ton, to be fair, like I draw every day, like since I, I can't remember. So like I, I put a lot, like I used to do like 17 hour fucking streams on Picardo where I was doing nothing but fucking drawing. You see, so, like you see where that gets you food shark. See what that yeah. gets you in the hospital. Uh, yeah. 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 But, his art, but your art is great. So. <laughs> I, I um, said an image in the show live chat, but I, it just remember mm -hmm. to stretch. You stretch Definitely, your wrists, yeah. your your arms, your everything. Mm -hmm. What Take I end breaks. up doing is, yeah, I always end up drawing for like maybe an hour, 15, 20, 30 minutes, and I go That's off great, and. Yeah. And then I take a break. I come back and just keep doing that. I call it procrastination, mm. but it's also a bit of help to not no, yeah. pain your wrists or your hands or something Trust like that. Trust me, you're better for it. Train yourself to do that because when you get into like the habit like I was where it's like I get into a fucking flow of drawing and I don't want to stop, like you will not get up from your chair and you will fuck yourself up. Not just your wrist, but your back too. Yeah. My wrist, my back, and my crack. <laughs> Every artist should know the position that they're in when the back of your neck starts burning like it's on fire because you've been hunching over too much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So our talks, everybody, we're leaving on a high note here. Um, we went over <laughs> artist beginnings with the food shark and bacon. They're two wonderful people. Can we get an audience? Audience clap. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. How'd you fit that many people in here? Man. Oh my god, where are all these people coming from? They're filling up my room. Get them out Why of here. Why do they have guns? <laughs> oh. We went over what it means when you're starting out, where your early influences lie, and you know, when you're the chosen one, the teacher picks you up and singles you out and he throws yeah, you out the fucking... window, tells you to draw. I'm gonna regret saying that. I'm gonna regret saying that. <laughs> Um, if you're doing art for years, make sure you get a good t enough tablet, move your arm around on, do stretches, uh, d look up to other artists, steal what you want. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, don't go to college. Between drawing sessions. Yeah. Don't yeah. go to college. <laughs> don't. Unless it's a good one where you can make connections for the industry you want to get into, but. Don't sure overtly idolize artists. Yeah. Yeah. All don't. Yeah. Don't deep throw <laughs> artists. You can be as good as them and you can be better than us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't ever like an artist. Don't ever tell yeah. them they're good at anything. Fuck We're just them. people. You can enjoy their art, but don't don't make it an obsession. Yeah. Go to our Twitter and fucking Newgrounds right follow now. Unfollow us. us. Unfollow. Yeah. Unfollow. <laughs> I, I want to see my numbers drop to three, three, three digits. <laughs> Rate all our drawings zero, please. It blam Every everything. <laughs> Make, yeah. make the worst comments you could possible. Like, eh, <laughs> report I don't like this. <laughs> report on our OCs as stolen content. Yeah, <laughs> we stole it from ourselves. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> all right, all right. I gotta, I gotta close out the show with the third patrons here. Uh, super patrons. I just want to give a shout out to them. Thank you, Zachary Jones. Thank you, Buzel. Thank you, Carissa Inabet. Thank you, Benny, who's also Pluffmont. Thank you, Bacon. You're also you're here. Hello. Thank you, Bacon. Thank you, Garly Guard. Thank you, Great 18 Kids 14. What? Okay, Great 18 Vids 14 Kids. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Kid. And today's outro music will be played by Wax Turk. And it's called oh. Out of Body. Um, thank you guys for showing up today. I feel like we went over yeah. some some important things. I hope everyone here has learned something. If they haven't, then I'll shoot them in the chest with the actual yeah. actual gun. I own one of those. Whoa. I own one uh, just for art purposes, so I can draw it at different <laughs> angles. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and shoot no the competition. Yeah, shoot the competition. Kidnap people for your pose pose models. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You tie them yeah. up. You put them in the positions yeah. you want. That don't do any of that. I'm sorry. We got to yeah. start adding. Make sure they're still alive show. when you do it, though. No, 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 no. Make sure they're still alive when you do it, though. <laughs> I don't know. Drawing still life is a thing, right? You got to make sure they're yeah. still. <laughs> So, yeah, you just tie the them up to, to do so. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you everyone who showed up today too. Yeah.
Yeah, I think it'd be really funny if I did the whole podcast and I sound like a robot. <laughs> robot time. <laughs> that would not get distracting at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Just how do you guys hate. think? How do you guys think today went? Yeah, it was fine. It was fun it's talking okay, to you guys. Fun. Thank you to the audience. Uh, I'm gonna open up the chats again. I apologize, to everyone. Yeah, I closed down the chats because I feel like it's rude to just be doing something else. Like I invite these people on, they take time out of their day. You know what I mean? I just. I gotta shut down the other chats for them. Yeah. I, next I like next time it'll be a bullet. It'll be a bullet. <laughs> like so everyone's on the verge of getting shot in, in the Discord. <laughs> I think one wrong move we put the gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, we put the gun in the place that you know where it's going. You know where it's yeah. going. You know. Yeah, yeah, you know. Real quick though, <laughs> what's the what's the best places to uh, support you guys' work? Twitter, yeah. Newgrounds. I'd rather have yeah, Newgrounds, but. Newgrounds. Twitter and Newgrounds. Like, Twitter what do you mean Newgrounds. by support? Like, like do you uh, mean like either... following us or like giving us money? Giving you guys the dollar bills. Stacks. I have fat... a Kofi that I don't use. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't use it. Laugh yeah. at him. Laugh at him for not plugging his, his <laughs> Kofi. Yeah. I mean, I have like two uh, sketches uh, in uh, there. Uh, uh, I don't post anything on there because you can't post not safe for work art. It fucking sucks. That's the only thing that sucks about Kofi. On there and that's all I do. Yeah. I mean, you could, yeah, like, I, I have Kofi. You can donate there if you want to throw money at me. I appreciate it. Or you could pay me to draw you something. That's neat. If you want to follow the work, yeah, Twitter and Newgrounds. Yeah. 